Calls for liberation filling the air in North Bergen as hundreds of Cuban Americans gathered and marched together as one. I just want to see freedom in my country for my grandparents, for my mom, for my dad. We just want freedom. Que viva Cuba Libre! A show of support for the thousands of Cubans currently protesting communist leadership on the island. What we want is freedom from the dictatorship of 62 years. Enough is enough. They're fearful. They're fearful for their lives because a lot of them don't believe. They don't believe in dictatorship, but they have to live there. For the last several days, Cubans have been taking to the streets demanding change in their country. A bold demonstration not seen in more than six decades. The protests come as the island continues to deal with economic hardship that's worsened during the pandemic. Many protesters say they're being attacked for speaking out. New Jerseyans with family ties there say they're heartbroken. We can't talk to them. The internet was shut down. We do know that they needed food over two months ago. Um, and there's no food, there's no electricity, there's no water. Um, so we have no way of legally getting stuff over to them. So what we're begging is to be allowed for humanitarian reasons to get food to them, water to them, and those that want to leave, let them leave. Local officials also throwing their support behind Cuba. North Bergen Mayor and State Senator Nicholas Sacco helped organize this rally. I am amazed at how quickly this grew to the size that it is. It shows how strong the people feel. Uh, they've been subjugated all these years, and now it's gotten worse, if it could have gotten worse. The hospitals are closed, there's a food shortage. Something has to be done in that nation. Republican gubernatorial candidate Jack Cittarelli also taking part in the rally. People are being denied the most basic human rights of things like food and medicine. And it's proving that socialism doesn't work. So we're also crying out for democracy. But some other politicians, including Senator Bob Menendez, who was born to Cuban immigrants, are calling Cittarelli's appearance a publicity stunt. The group releasing a joint statement saying in part, after supporting the rhetoric and bigotry of the Trump administration, Assemblyman Cittarelli is now attempting to use our vibrant Cuban community as a pawn for his own political purposes. We wholeheartedly reject this opportunistic way of thinking and won't allow a politician with a self-serving agenda to weaponize the Cuban people's suffering and drag us back to the days when our diverse communities were put into silos and left behind. But for the Cuban American community here in New Jersey, they say they just want to see their home country finally be free. My grandparents, my grandmother, my cousins, best friends with little kids, everyone's there. We're, we need help. Help us, please. SOS Cuba. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.